How you doing today? My name is Jeff Ray, featured guest host here with Weld.com, back in the lab. Today, I'm gonna to be making a couple of welds using dissimilar metals for backing material. So I got my pieces already tacked together here. I'm gonna go through some corner to corner welds as well as some plug welds. I'm gonna start off with some 16 gauge stainless and I got some 16 gauge aluminum as well, fit corner to corner. I'm going to demonstrate both welds with and without the backing of a dissimilar metal. You can use aluminum, copper, stainless, carbon, depending on what materials you're using, as well as we'll do some plugging holes as well. Say you may drill a hole in the wrong spot and you got to rectify that mistake. I'm going to show you how you can use these dissimilar metals as well to fix that mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and get my hood on, get the machine turned on and uh, make a couple of welds. First off, we're gonna weld the aluminum pieces. So we're gonna get the machine dialed in for that. We're gonna utilize the Everlast Power TIG 200 DV today. So I'm gonna turn it on AC. I got my frequency set at about 155 Hertz. My balance is about 40%. We're gonna have the pedal for our remote start. pre flow, post flow, got a couple of seconds on the post flow there. Let's turn it up to about 74 amps, should be plenty enough. And we're gonna use the Bowler ER4043 1 16th wire with an AWS spec of A5.10. So let's get at it. All right, so we got these welds made. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the aluminum one we did first without vacuum material. I utilized some 1 16th 40-43 wire here. You can see the penetration on the inside. When utilizing the backing material, it really helps with the uh, soaking of the heat. With this thin material, it can distort. So you can clearly see the difference between the two visually on the outside. This one being the one I used with the backing material. It allowed me to really put all the heat to it and not have any burn through there. And it makes the weld a lot more controllable when you don't have this piece just getting really hot and just wanting to open up on you. Same thing with the plug weld here. You can see the bottom where we have a bunch of push through and then how flushed out the one where we use the backing material. Again, this really helps with the distortion and, and soaking of that heat when you use this backing on this thin material. All right, we got the aluminum stuff welded now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to DC for the stainless. DC, turn it down to about 45 amps. We'll turn our post flow up a little bit as well here. Should be good, so let's get at it. So for the stainless, I'm going to use the Bowler ER308 at 1 16th diameter and it has an AWS spec of A5.4.
Over here, we got our stainless welds we made. Visually, you can see the difference. Like I said, the soaking of that heat. This one come out a lot more silver. That's the one we used with the backing. This one, not so silver. On the inside, where we didn't use the backing material, you can see a lot of oxidation, some burn through, some sugar in there, which we don't want. You can look here on the inside of the one that we used the backing material. It actually looks like we held a purge on there. Like I said, the soaking of the heat, this thin material, it wants to distort. And by putting the backing material in there, it really helps me put all the amperage to it and being able to weld this a lot easier for me and not have any distortion there. And you can see here, we got our two plug welds, one with all the sugar being where we didn't use the backing material as opposed to when we used the backing material. This really helps to rectify mistakes if you drilled a hole in the wrong spot in some sheet metal and you, you wanna fix it. Uh, it's a real good trick to use. Learning how to actually burn in and fill holes can be a little tricky over time, but it just takes practice. I also used the Furic BBW cup on this to really help with the coverage on my, my gas there. I always like using this on my stainless, chromoly, titanium that is as well. Let us know what else you guys would like to see. Thanks for supporting Well.com and being a part of the welding community. We'll see you next time.